Thank you for tuning in to another tips and tricks tutorial video brought to you by Freelancer School. Um, today we're just going to go over how to create an automated email within um, HubSpot. Uh, not to do the actual workflow, just create the email itself. And um, yeah, I did, we just released a book on an ebook. It's free to download um, in the link below. And it is, if you're just starting off, um, freelancer tips and tricks style. Um, kind of 50 pages about what we believe would have been the most important thing when we first started off. Um, and overall, it's a great book. And we also have a Slack premium channel as well. Um, where we'll answer all of your questions for a monthly subscription fee. It is extremely cheap right now, so just throwing it out there, but let's hop right in. So, with in regards to how to get to the screen, this is the email screen, you're going to want to go to marketing, email, that'll bring you right here. Click create email. Choose if you want regular, automated, or blog. We're doing automated, so boom. Now, if you already have a template built, um, it doesn't really matter if you don't, but I just don't want to, especially in this tutorial video, take a lot of time showing you how to build a template, but it's just like build an email, build a, like a, se if you were going to build a series, you know, you'd have a template like I do right here on the Save 30 Reel. It's going to bring up that template right here. I'm going to change the name of this so I can identify it afterwards. And what you can do is, um, once you have it, I use JPEGs, so, you know, just depending on how you make your emails, it probably won't be this easy as far as, like, if you made it within HubSpot, but for the most part, still will be decently simple. So all you have to do is click on the picture or pic right here. Then I'm going to click Replace. I already have all my images within folders within HubSpot for this email series under Email Assets. If I go down to email six, um, I have all these sliced out. So like the button can be sliced and so that there's clickable links, etc. cetera. Um, and you can see right here, it is good to go. Everything is fine right here. And um, so yeah, I can move forward. You can click settings, choose your from name. So mine's gonna be Epic World Team. And then if who you're sending it f as, so it's going to be support. And if you want to have a different reply to address, you can edit that right there. I have a Google Doc over here on a screen you can't see with my uh, subject lines, etc. So we're just going to take those real quickly and copy and paste them in here. And then same thing, we're going to go here to the text and I'm going to add the preview text and bring this down to about 240 characters. Whoops, 140 characters. So personalize, um, since I'm using a JPEG, we don't actually personalize the emails, but you can personalize the preview text by just clicking contact and then going first name right here. Insert email name, um, subscription type, it's marketing information, campaign. I created a campaign for it as well. And then if you go to sending, I usually don't send to contacts with low engagement and then I go review and publish and you're good to go. So uh, if you want to add it to the workflow or you already know how to do that, then you have a workflow created. You can just do it right here by choosing your workflow or choosing the form specifically. I'm going to do this later and I will show you how to do this in another video. Um, I hope you enjoy it again. If you're still watching, please give us a like, subscribe. We really appreciate it. And um, yeah, we own an agency, but we're just getting started off with the video aspect of it and making tutorial videos for you. So, um, yeah, thanks again. We appreciate the support. Let's see you next time. Sorry, I can never get out.
out of here. Horrible scene change.